soul searching in Congress today about terror at home. Where do we go from here? CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says the NYPD counterterrorism chief John Miller was on the hot seat in Washington. It was just days after the Chelsea bombing and only a few months after the Pulse nightclub attack. The NYPD's Deputy Chief for Intelligence and Counterterrorism, John Miller, on Capitol Hill, where jittery congressmen demanded answers about what to do to prevent cities from becoming battlegrounds. You have to ask yourself, um, have we figured out who we are? And do we want to change? Miller pointing to several incidents of mass murder here in the United States and wondering just what it will take to get Congress to enact gun control measures. Cynical people would have said when a member of Congress is shot down um, in a public place, that would change. But the conversation after the shooting of Gabby Giffords went on for about three weeks and faded away. Having Miller in front of them, Miller, who is currently at the center of the probe into the details of the Chelsea bombing, being asked about a form of Muslim profiling, Congressman not calling it that exactly, but... I don't see how it's considered unconstitutional or bad police work to have undercovers, to have informers, the same it's done when you're tracking down any other type of crime where it's coming from a particular community or organization. Miller explaining that under NYPD guidelines... We do not um, place undercovers or spies or, or people into the community to watch people who are engaged in um, completely constitutionally protected activities. He then talked about information amassed since 9-11 on people who were involved in specific incidents or came under suspicion, explaining... But it's not realistic to say every time someone comes on the radar, you're going to be able to follow them or their friends and associates uh, for an extended period of time while you have investigations that are on the front burner involving people who are demonstrably dangerous. Well, Miller pointed out that the NYPD works hard to strengthen its ties to the Muslim community so that people will come forward with information. He said you can't profile a community and then at the same time count on them to help you investigate cases. Dana. Marcia.